Pioneer. Yo, what is going on guys? EJ here, bringing another Lord of the Rings Rise of War video. Today guys, we've got a new little in-game event, an update. Um, first off, I'm just going to quickly show you how things have been going on my server, some progress in that. And then we're going to be checking out the brand new stuff. It's just the updates just finished, so I haven't really checked it out yet. But, but let's get into it, shall we? Um, so we're going to show you the big uh, map so far and show you so there's a lot of um, PvP and action is starting to begin in our server now. Um, for example, we're with Lothlorien. We just grabbed Moria today. Um, so we're taking down level 48, 45, or 45 army uh, keeps in that there. As you can see, there is a lot of battle between um, ourselves, Lothlorien, and Arnor at the moment on multiple fronts. Um, and it also looks like Lindon is uh, fighting against us as well, which I didn't know that. So, so far, it looks like Arnor and Lindon are against us. There's been some more battles down here uh, between Gondor and Rohan. Uh, not huge battles here, but um, a few deaths. So, Rohan is definitely going in against Gondor. Um, there was also some other battles around here. I think it was around here. Uh, where Rohan are battling Moria, sorry, not Moria, Mordor as well at the moment. Our cells are starting to get into the battle with um, some of the Vargs at the moment. The Vargs are starting to push up towards the ring. Um, and there was some battles up here before with um, Gunda and Erebor were fighting each other, but seems to have settled down a little bit now. But so far, um, we're right in the middle of the things here. We've got a lot of fights on the fronts here. Um, we can go a little bit closer and show you some of um, the areas, what it looks like. So, um, there's just a couple of little crossings being held here and there. Um, there's been a lot more battling here, so we can take a bit of a look. But, as you can see, there's a big war zone here. So, it looks like Lindon is ready. So, basically, there's two fronts um, that we're going to be battling um, against. So, there's going to be there's a western front and an eastern front. Um, Gondor and Rohan are having their own little thing at the moment, but yes, yeah, so far it's looking like it could be Vargs and Mordor and Arnor and Linden all against us so far. So this could be, yeah, I'm not sure, quite sure what Erebor is doing at the moment. And Gunda, they're kind of doing their own things, but I know this could end up being the whole server versus Lothlorien, who knows. But we are coming up towards factions um, soon, so as soon as we get 500 rings at level 75, United Factions, so I'm probably now with more of adjustment I'm probably gonna say that Arnor and Lindon are gonna probably unite faction because they're obviously working together to push towards us um, I think it's pretty safe to say that probably Vargs and Mordor who surprisingly are doing quite well this um, season are going to be um, going together that leaves Gondor we're so, it's pretty much safe to say that Rohan and Gondor will not be going together because they're fighting each other. So, that leaves Lothlorien with the possible chance of United Faction with Rohan or with Erebor, which we haven't really had any association with them. So, it could be that we're going to unite a faction with Rohan. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, but that's how things are looking. Um, but I don't, yeah, but just basically off the map, that's how things are possibly looking. Angmar dead, Gundabad, I don't know what they're going to do. So they're probably just going to stick by themselves. And then, yeah, Erebor, I don't know, maybe they'll unite a faction with Gondor, Rohan. But yeah, but I have a general idea of what we're going to be doing, but I'm not going to say exactly. But, um, if you're looking at the map, things may explain it for themselves, but nothing's in stone yet to say, to say, but... Um, I can pretty say in stone that Lindon and Arnor is is a pretty huge chance just by the map and probably Mordor and Vargs because they're very close. But who knows? Um, Vargs might go up with Gunda or something. You never know. But that's basically where things are happening. Now, um, personal-wise, um, I've been working on getting my commanders up a bit higher. I'm trying to get them up all into the my main five into the 40s now. Uh, but the big progress that I've made is I've unlocked a lot more elite units now. Um, so we now have uh, Sentinels, Heralds, Bow Knights, and Cavaliers um, that are all elite tier 3s now. And I've just unlocked Catters. 
Um, they're not elite yet, but I've got their elite training. We've got 370 gems at the moment. I did make a purchase um, on the account, guys. Um, so don't be too upset with that. It was just the season pass. I just wanted, I just wanted to grab the season pass. Um, and yeah, because it gave me like a bunch of gems and things, and I was able to open a few chests and things. And like overall, you most people, 99% of this people will buy this anyway, and I really wanted to buy it, and I had the money, so I um, grabbed that, guys. Um, but yeah, so that's where I got the gems from. I think I got given like a thousand or two thousand from all the rewards or something. I can't remember. And but yeah, as you can see, um, I have elite training. I'm st I've got 21 hours, so I've been doing the elite training, the long hard way and stuff like that. But yeah, things are looking pretty good there. Now for the next part of the video, we want to have a look at the new stuff. So let's go in here. Uh, so we've got the Harvest Fest Festival Banquet. Um, so Banquet Abundance. What's this here? Let's suss it out first. All right. So every certain amount. Oh, you get 200 gems. So you're going to be able to earn some gems and Marthom tokens. Not bad. Uh, the storage. This is where you're going to be able to get your foods and fruits. If I remember right, you can trade with um, people in the chat and stuff like that. Um, you're going to have a recipe book where it shows you the different, different recipes. Um, and you can make the recipes a private recipes. Okay, that's interesting. And yeah, you'll be able to make all of these recipes and stuff like that. Um, I can't quite remember how to do them all at, at the moment. But it shows you how to do this one, for example. Like turkey, mixed vegetables and seasoning. Um, which you'll be able to do in there. What's this here? So, there's things here now. Some logins. So, oh, so it gives you some of the crate things. The food crates stamina so complete tavern tips okay so you need to do two of them that's really easy open marfom chest one or two i got my daily freebie one i could maybe open my half price one for 200 something later i got 300 gems there so maybe that's how that could work uh we got the spit here so it looks like we can cook so what was it turkey um mixed vegetables and seasoning um and then we just go like that and oh fuck, I can't remember how to do this now, bro. Wait, wait, what? Tap, tap on the skewer to stop roasting at the right time. Okay, scared the hell out of me. All right, so I just got to click on the skewer, all right? Now's the time. So we just hit it there. All right, and we just cook it. We cook some fish. Beautiful. That doesn't look like a turkey meal. Okay, so we're cooking a fish, but it turns to be a okay. A fish equals a turkey, guys. Okay, all right, that makes sense. Uh, this here is where you can make soups. Alright, so there's a spit and a soup section now. Uh, so now we've done the recipe, we've marked that off, so that's going to give us 100 gems. Okay, not bad. Uh, steak, well steak's probably going to be beef and a few things there and stuff. But yeah, uh, I don't know all the recipes at the moment, but we'll definitely work all of those out. Basic technique, what's this up here? Advanced techniques. Oh, so you have to do three basics, then intermediate, then advanced. Okay, so that's a little bit more in depth. And then, that's just the cooking section there all together. Storage, we've got my food there. Oh, wait, so oh, so you get the ingredient boxes, so then you can open them. Oh, and you can pick what ingredients you want. Okay, so that's pretty good. You can ha make a selection. Also, guys, there's the new Marthom um, special chest. You can um, select what commanders you want to get respect for. So, um, you can select um, tier 1, 2, and 3. So, I'm just going to select my tier 1s here, uh, for example, right now. So, you can select those. Um, oh, wait. How many can I put in for fine? Four. Let's select. Oh, wait. And then you put the exquisites in. All right. So, I'll probably want Gandalf and um, good old mate there. Sorry about them flickers there. I don't know what that was. And then I probably would want here Gilgalad. Um, Gandalf the White and my Isildur. And then we select them. Wait. Oh, we need one more exquisite. We'll throw in... Oh, no, I don't really use many other ones. We'll probably just throw in Aragorn or something. There we go. And then we can confirm them, guys. So, yeah, we've got the special chest. So, we can get all them. Shows you all the equipment you can get out of them. There are some special gifts. Um, so, for every certain amount you open, you unlock special gifts. So that's pretty good. 100 and 200. Ooh, 200 gives a gold mayfrey over. That's a lot to open. Um, I'll open one just for the sake of it. I'm almost out of gems anyway, but don't really have any. And we get nothing. But yeah, there's also that as well, guys. 
All right, well, and that's basically um, what the Harvest Festival Banquet event is, guys. I thought the garden might have been coming back, but it looks like it's not. But we do have some more events coming down the track and further updates. But yeah, all right, we're going to wrap it up, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully, in the next video, I'm going to be bringing you some PvP action because we're getting to the point where, yeah, all war is going to start breaking out in server. All right, guys, until next time, peace out, EJ's out. And I'll catch you guys later. See yous. Thousands of the EJU army. Yeah, you guys are legends to me. So let's keep up this grind. I'll never give up just like this ride.